Rayo, did you know the Natural History Museum is a home of 80 million artifacts displayed across its four divisions? Really? Tell me more. Mining and mineral departments of Natural History Museum has been considered as the bedrock for technology improvement in construction, transport, and tools and equipment. Hmm, sounds interesting. Let's explore. Look at those metals. The metals have been the basis of our technology of the Industrial Revolution for tools, machines, construction, and transport. People rely on metals more heavily than before. For example, the steel has greater strength and durability, and it was fundamental in the growth of several industries. So, what metal do you use the most in your everyday life? I think I'll say iron in general is the most used metal in our daily life. I'd have to say iron. Okay, so what do you use iron for? Um, just like, you know, like kitchen utensils. Um, yeah, kitchen utensils, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, like, um, cars as well, because, mm -hmm. you know, like driving. Yeah, yeah. Although the technology has been increased, the standard of living of people, they also pose some problems on our environments, such as global warming and greenhouse effect. Reducing environmental damage from generating electricity and using gas for daily purposes is urgent because of the increasingly noticeable climate change all around the world. The UK is committed to reducing its greenhouse gas emissions by 80% of 1990 levels by 2050. Reducing carbon emissions from electricity has relied on carbon prices and financial support. Carbon prices now make coal unprofitable, which has been crucial to its recent decline in the generation mix. Renewables produced 25% of all electricity in 2016, supported by subsidies. Should economies invest in the growth or sustainability of their environment? So my personal thought is that the economy should invest in the sustainability of the environment more than the growth. Because uh, since we can see the rise in uh, climate change and global warming and stuff like that, I think the end of humans or species are much closer uh, than it is uh, earlier so i think it's better to focus on the sustainability and just delaying these things and then we can focus on the growth